Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to film here in my family room. Uh, right now it is uh, Saturday afternoon and um, I just finished a late brunch because uh, I went and ran errands and I got some uh, fresh flowers from the grocery store to put here in my Jasperware vases. And I just got this beautiful um, tobacco leaf this ginger jar from Pender and Peony. It's a um, antique Instagram account ran by a lovely woman by the name of Catherine. And um, I love her items that she has every Thursday. So I love this face. I love the colors. It's something different. And I don't know much about Tobacco Leaf, but I did purchase her Grand Millennium um, Antique Guide, and it has been wonderful. And it's downloaded on my phone in PDF form. So I take that with me when I go on my antique and adventures. And if I see something that looks familiar that's on the guide, I go ahead and pull it up and take a look at it and read it. So it's been most helpful. So right now, um, my husband's not here. He went and had lunch. So he went and had lunch with a friend. But I'm just here and I just finished up. There's my tea. I got this beautiful um, vase out. And I found this in an antique store, too. I think I've shared that in these beautiful roses that uh, I got from Kroger. I'm actually watching um, Sharon Santoni right now on YouTube. She's unboxing her, uh, my French country home. I don't know if any of you are familiar with her. But she's unboxing the May box. And I've always wanted one of her boxes. But I just keep forgetting about them. So I may have to do that. But today I wanted to share my cabinet uh, that I got from the antique store a couple of months ago. Uh, so I don't know what kind of cabinet this is, but I knew I had to go ahead and grab it because I loved it. She wanted a uh, 400 Ford. I did share it on uh, my blog and I got it for I think 250 or maybe 200. But I love the feet right here. And... I got all of my, oh wait, so let me share this really quick. If any of you are on the Like to Know It app or follow some of the Grand Millennial um, influencers, these are, the, these are those tassels that everyone keeps sharing. Look how big that is. And I love the color and it comes in all sorts of colors. I really do want to get a pink one, but I don't know where to put it. <laughs> but these I, come in a set of two and I think they're only $10 for the set, so it's pretty awesome. Um, so here is my little tea set. This is my actually my first tea set I got. My husband got me this, I think, 2009, 2010 from a place called Tea Havana. Um, down here are all my teapots and teacups. This teacup I actually just picked up at the Rosecliff Mansion in Newport, Rhode Island when we did the mansion tours. And I love it. It's so pretty. Down here is the Victoria Magazine tea set and I've already done a video on that so I can link that. This is a new purchase. Um, this I actually got at the antique store and this is a Jasper Wear teacup and saucer. I actually reached out to Catherine at Pinder and Peony and asked her if these are safe to drink out of because I've always wanted a teacup and saucer and she said they were. So it's a it's a beautiful size. I love all the details trying to get it to clear here there it goes so I love it and it is marked I believe yes so the Wedgwood is at the top where is it oh there it is so it does say Wedgwood and I think the saucer has Wedgwood as well so I actually found it on eBay I think I paid about 20 for the teacup and saucer set. Down here, I found these items actually at um, Home Goods. So the teapots from Home Goods. The teacup is I think I've shared that on stories. The sugar bowl or cup that's from Home Goods. I have a teacup back there from the cake bake shop, which is actually from the Linux collection because that's the company that. Um, trying to get it to show up that Gwendolyn uses for her china so expensive um I really want one of her teapots but 
It's like $375. I'm just going, eh, no, not for a teapot. <laughs> this beautiful piece back here, this small little plate I actually found on eBay. I can't remember the name of This is such a popular um, print online. It is stamped. Oh, I can't remember the name. That's terrible. <laughs> but it's really popular, and I love oops, all of the colors on it. So I'm trying to hold my cell phone and film at the same time, and now my plate won't go back in. Okay. And down here is um, another teapot. I actually found this in Asheville, North Carolina, and I've shared this on the blog a couple of years ago at um, t the Tobacco Barn antique barn in Asheville and I love that place I've gone twice this is a beautiful soup terrain bowl that where did I find this I found this at an antique store and I think it's Hovland yeah it is Hovland Limoges so and it's it's actually stunning it's a really pretty bowl I love the print and the butterflies all around it. It's really, really pretty. And there is a snow globe music box from the Cake Bake Shop, which has a swan in it. Let's see if I can grab it. It's really heavy. <laughs> so it actually sings and makes lots of noise. I think they're really cheap right now. So right now is the perfect time to buy stuff from her website if you're interested because everything's really cheap. <laughs> So that's my cabinet, and I love it. All right, sorry for the cutoff, but my husband called me right in the middle of recording. But um, we'll go ahead and finish it up. Here's the top of the cabinet. I just have some uh, a beautiful home goods bowl. That is from Von Maur, and that's really old. And this ginger jar is actually from my stepson, Ricky, which I love so much. It's really pretty. So I love this cabinet, I really do. Can't believe I got it, it's so pretty. I thought about changing the color, but I really like the color that it is. And here's my doggy's sleeping pad. He, he loves it right there so he can see everything. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you all soon and have a great day. Bye now.